the Horsehead Nebula, a story of time and light. This beautiful celestial object in the cosmos is located 1,500 light years away from Earth, just south of Orion's belt, 24 trillion miles tall and 18 trillion miles wide, with dark colour and deep shades of red. This is a place of sublime creation where new stars come to be born. As nightfall approaches, I'm looking forward to what we're going to capture tonight. I find it fascinating how the universe is infinite in all directions. For us astrophotographers, the potential deep sky targets are genuinely endless. In today's video, I'm going to be taking a photo of the Horsehead Nebula, capturing the rich details, intricacies and colours. I'm Rajan and you're watching God's Art. We know that light travels at 186,000 miles per second. That means it would have taken eight minutes for the light to travel from the sun to the earth. It's incredible to think that the light photons from the Horsehead Nebula would have taken 1,500 years to reach the sensor on my camera. This effectively means that the image we take today will allow us to travel 1,500 years into the past. Or in other words, what the Horsehead Nebula would have looked like at the beginning of the Middle Ages. It's incredible that the further out into the universe we look, the further back in time we go. In order to capture our target, we need a telescope powerful enough to collect that ancient light that the Horsehead Nebula is emitting. Meet my Skywatcher 200 PVS. You will have seen from my earlier videos that this great piece of engineering has steered us through the universe, capturing incredible photos such as the Crescent Nebula or the Wizard Nebula. This telescope has allowed us to see the beautiful night sky, but also just how powerful and terrifying the cosmos can be. We'll be capturing the nebula using my ZWO ASI 294MC Pro camera. This is a one-shot colour cool dedicated astronomy camera, which is particularly helpful in collecting that red hydrogen alpha data. This is going to be very beneficial for imaging the Horsehead Nebula. I feel as an astrophotographer it's so important to first understand the history and small details of your target before you start imaging. This doesn't just apply to the Horsehead Nebula, but any target you're working on. In essence, this will help you to adapt your photography style to your specific target to tell the story you want to tell, whilst also allowing you to develop your skills as a photographer in the long run. Thankfully, we're under a Bortle Class 5 sky, which is pretty good for the UK. If you don't know what the Bortle scale looks like, it runs from 1 to 8, with 1 being the best light pollution and 8 being the worst. So 5 is pretty decent and it means we've got a great opportunity tonight. Okay, so the session is now underway. We are capturing the Horsehead Nebula. I'm using my ZWO ASI Air Plus, which I got over Christmas. It's a nice little present for myself. The amazing thing about this gadget is that I can get continuous updates on my photos coming through wirelessly on my phone whilst I'm sitting inside. 
This is particularly helpful in winter just because of how cold it is. But the great thing about this time of the year is that we can start our sessions so much earlier. I started today at 8 p.m. and I can finish at about 11 or 12. If it was summer, I'd have to start more like 11 p.m. and finish at 4 a.m. The other great thing about the ASI Air Plus is that it allows you to more or less perfectly polo align your mount. If you're relatively new to this hobby, you can probably find this quite difficult, relying on your own personal judgment, and it can sometimes be quite hard when you're starting out. But by having the ASI Air Plus, you can now have that confidence that you can get perfect polo alignment every single time before you start your session. So we're about 20 minutes away from completing the photo and I'm really pleased with how it's going so far. It's quite nice to just sit inside while the session's running. We're starting 2022 off in the right way and I can't wait to get going with post-processing. Now it's just a waiting game. The Horsehead Nebula. A story of time and light. A home of sublime creation.